So welcome, Sue. Thank you for joining me. You've been on our Emotional Eating Solutions program and um, you've been on the program now. You're coming towards the end of the program. I just wanted to get your, um, I suppose, inspiration because you've been a bit of an inspiration to the others on the program as well. Your inspiration and ideas about what you've discovered from the program, about yourself and the challenges you've overcome. Um, I think a lot of the challenges that I've overcome, um, the relationship with food, um, my feelings about self-esteem, and I never understood that achievements list and um, the other one before I started the program. Now, now I get it uh, about how they do different things and how if you list your achievements while it looks good on paper, it doesn't go deep enough. So I learned how to. Um, really celebrate myself, I guess. Mm. And um, I've said it so many times that the psychological aspect, the separating of the emotions from the food, have, have been the most advantageous for me. It's been a wonderful uh, awakening and uh, celebration of self. Um, uh, challenges I will. I will still have and will always have, but then how do you know you're alive unless you have a challenge? Um, but how do you think you can deal, do you have strategies and tools to deal uh, with those challenges as they arise now? Yes, I, yes. Um, I have my favourites and they switch, switch around. Um, I like the My Mirror one and I use that whenever I don't have to be in front of a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a, a, um, a reminder of putting myself into the present. Um, I like the cutting, the cutting mm. one, that's the Because I think you've got to find, um, have ones for at home and ones when you're out in public. And uh, the quick and easy ones are really good. And also um, the breathing exercises, the stress exercises. You know all these things, and you can sit on the train and just do them in your mind. Yeah. It's just uh, very, very effective. Um, what else? Tapping is good. I love tapping. And I think um, the brain itself, what, it, what it's learned, uh, what you can draw out of the toolbox. What have you learned about yourself on the program? Um, how fabulous I am. <laughs> Embarrassed to say that, but no. it, it's just like a rebirthing. It's like look at all the options you, you have. You know, you you recognise the talents because we uh, grew up in a country that doesn't celebrate uh, people's achievements. Uh, what have I learned about myself? Obviously, that I'm determined because I'm still here. Um, Probably a lot of things along the way that I've forgotten because I'm aged now <laughs> and I tend to forget things. <laughs> um, also, I've learned, I think, a bit of compassion for other people mm -hmm. because, and this is not a, in, a t in an awful way, I see people doing things and I think, that used to be me mm -hmm. and I'm so glad I'm not there now. Mm -hmm. And I wish I could help you, but I know you won't listen if I talk to you. But, you know, you have to come to your own decisions. Um, yeah. Um, and I guess I never would have believed that I would achieve where I am today, I guess. And also, I think a confidence to try new things. Yeah. And um, that's good. Yeah, I think that's crazy. And you posted the other day, um, I forget which lesson you're on, but you posted that it had asked you to work on, with a brain training recipe, to work on releasing fears. And yeah. you genuinely posted that that used to be you and you just couldn't find any fear now. You were willing to just move forward and do stuff anyway. Yeah. yeah. What does that feel like? Because most people live their life through fear. I know. I still, I still have a bit of fear in life, but it's just... 
I've always <clears throat> jumped in with two feet. If I wanted to go uh, reach a, a goal, um, and I never used to have any confidence, I used to put myself in a position where I had to do it, right. like pulling myself through the hedge. But now it's more like, well, what's the worst that can happen? You know, you wanted to do this, let's do it. You're not going to die if you fail. And mm. what, what's um, achievable, you know? So you're then, approaching, you know, is, is it correct then that you're approaching it from what could happen rather than as in the, the outcome, the positive outcome, rather than the fear of, of failure or the fear yeah. of, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's more what can happen, look what you can reap, I suppose, yeah. if you try this, you know. It's, um, I don't know where that fear came from. I suppose it's accumulated, accumulated over a lot of years. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I understand more about myself and the way I work. What works for me and what doesn't. And you've obviously yeah. lost a little bit of weight, but what are the other health benefits that for you? Because at the program, you said it before, the, the, the program's not about weight. It's been yeah. about a discovery of yourself and your relationship with food. Your, and the food, your relationship with food is really just a mirror of the relationship with other things in your life as well. And as you've improved your relationship with food, those other things in your life have improved as well. So what for you have been the greatest health and uh, psychological benefits? Oh, gosh. The psychological benefits are, are, are the confidence and self-esteem. Um, the health aspect is that um, thinking clearer. Um, gosh, health. The, the options to get the options to get healthier and healthier yeah. is, instead of settling for oh something's wrong what will happen next yeah. and it going down that that road um, and and knowing that the your health is in your own hands yes. rather than the doctors and specialists. Yeah. And so if you could, we'll finish on this one uh, little point. If in, say, a month's time you oh. were triggered by something or a challenge came up in life where you thought, oh, God, have I got the strategies to deal with this and the old wiring kicked in, if you yeah. could offer yourself one piece of advice to get back on track, to realise that the track is always there, what would yeah. that advice be? To me, me to me, yeah. um, stop stressing. <laughs> That would be my biggest one. Stop, sit down, stop stressing, or sleep on it. Beautiful. You know, uh, that. And hopefully I, I, that will be my And what thing. would you remind Sue about letting go of stress? What would you, what tools would you remind her to do? What strategies? Just breathe. Just concentrate on your breath. Just breathe. And breathe and... Remember what you've achieved in the course. Yes, I'd go through that. I'd go. I'd use the course as a stress buster. Beautiful. Um, what I've achieved, what I know. Stop being a drama queen. <laughs> Just <laughs> settle down. Settle down, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Did you name your inner coach throughout the program? Ah, uh, yes. I called her Angel. And so would you call upon Angel to guide you and advise you through? Um, yeah, I'd have a strong talk to her <laughs> because she's been working very hard. I think she's in Barbados, so she's on holiday. Yes, I would. We kind of really join together Yeah. Um, because she is now me and I her. Um, yeah, she seems to kick in when I most need her. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. That's, um, yeah, I would. Um, the inner critic doesn't get much of a look in at all. 
Fantastic. So that peace of mind, knowing that you've not got that battle between the part of you that wanted change and the part of you that's fighting and resisting, knowing that that battle's not there must be incredibly freeing. Yes, it is. It is. In fact, it was just the other day when I thought, oh, where did that voice come from? Um, about when I was sick, they said, oh, that's mum's voice. Yeah, that's okay. So you recognised it wasn't you. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Well, I'm very proud of you, my darling girl. And, I mean, you've still got a couple of weeks to go on the program, so we're here to support you, obviously. Remember those audios as part of the CPR kit. That's yours for life, so you can always call upon any one of those audios and things like that as well throughout um, the years to come as well. And we're always here. You can always reach out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Mm, Thank you for opening yourself up to the experience. Well, I'm I'm always <laughs> always here to open. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Sue. You know what, how we feel when we finish the course. Just so grateful. My pleasure.